Let's talk about TypeScript support in Vite. We're going to use a very basic example, just for demonstration purposes, how to integrate TypeScript into Vite project. So I'm going to create a new file with an extension ts. Let's call it main.ts. And in here we're going to declare a function sum, which basically is going to sum up two numbers. It will accept two arguments of type number a and b. And it's supposed to calculate the sum of these numbers and eventually return number. So in here let's just sum up two arguments, a plus b. And down here we're gonna add console log statement to print out the result of calling this function sum with arguments 1, which is a number, and the second argument will be 2, but this time it will be a string. And before checking it out in the browser, we of course have to include this file to our page. And by the way, Vite allows us to include TypeScript files directly within HTML files, like so. So once it's done, let's switch over to the browser. And surprisingly, we don't see any errors in the console. And as a result, in a console we have number 12, which is the result of executing that sum function. So as we can see, after browser loads our file main.ts, it receives the content where all types have been stripped. So that means Vite has applied transformation to this file to remove everything related to TypeScript and leave only valid JavaScript code that can be run in a browser. So that means that Vite hasn't done any static type checks and instead only converted TypeScript syntax into JavaScript syntax. And which is why as a result of executing this function we got 12. Because instead of summing up two numbers, JavaScript has concatenated them. And there is actually a reason why Vite doesn't do any static type checking when converting TypeScript files into JavaScript files. And this reason is a speed, because to do full static type checking will actually drastically delay the whole build process. So what Vite recommends us to do instead, if we wanna run static type checking, is to separately install TypeScript compiler. We're going to do it right now, so in a terminal, let's run npm install TypeScript. And then we're going to use this compiler to separately analyze our TypeScript files and apply type checking. So in our package.json, we're gonna add one more script within script section with a name tsc. And what this script will do is basically run TypeScript compiler. But in our case, we don't need to transform any TypeScript files into JavaScript files. Instead, we want only run static type checking, since this will be done by Vite. And instead, what we want to do is to actually run static type checking. So in here, for TypeScript compiler, we're gonna use option called no emit which is not going to produce any JavaScript files and instead will only run static type checking. And now if we try to go ahead and run that script by running npm run tsc, we're gonna see the following error. And to fix it we have to add TypeScript configuration file within the root of the project with the name tsconfig.js. And in here the only option that we have to specify is to actually show TypeScript compiler where our source files are stored. So let's add a root dir option with the value dot, which is kind of a pointer to the root directory of our project. So right now if we run the same command again, npm run tsc, this time we're gonna get a different error. And this is actually the error that we expect, that we have some type mismatches in our TypeScript file. So right now our TypeScript compiler works properly and gives us hints whenever we have type mismatches like this one. But actually running TypeScript compiler like this is not going to rerun it. Every time we're gonna make change to our source file. So to make TypeScript compiler watch our source file for changes, we're gonna run the same command npm run tsc, but this time we will also add flag watch. And from now on, anytime we're gonna make a change to our source files, for example, let's go ahead and switch over to main.ts, and make a change by fixing this type error. And now that we don't have any type errors within this file, if we take a look at the TypeScript output, we can see that TypeScript compiler was rerun and this time there are no errors and warnings being reported. So when it comes to running TypeScript in Vite projects, this is one of the Vite recommendations to run TypeScript type checking in a separate process to prevent deferring main Vite build process. But if we actually want to fully integrate TypeScript type checking process within Vite build process, 
There is a special plugin for it called Vid Plugin Checker. And this plugin allows us to fully integrate TypeScript type checking into Vid build process. And after that, all TypeScript related errors and warnings will be shown directly in the browser. And if we wish to use this plugin, the first thing we need to do, of course, is to install it by running the following command. So let's switch over to the terminal. Paste here that installation command and wait until the installation process finished. And after installation is finished, next we have to configure this plugin by adding some instructions into our vid configuration file. So first of all, let's add this import statement. I'm going to switch over to my vid.config.js and right below the inspect import statement, I'm going to paste new import statement for vid plugin checker plugin. And one more thing to do to configure this plugin is to actually copy this function call and paste it into plugins section down below, like this. And this is actually all what's required to fully integrate TypeScript type checking within Vit build process. So right now if we're gonna go ahead and get back that type checking error by converting this argument to string. This time during the Vit build process, we're gonna see that the TypeScript error was appeared within the browser. So as we can see from now on, every TypeScript error will be shown directly in the browser. And of course, if we go ahead and fix this error and check the result in the browser, we no longer see any TypeScript errors. And now within such setup, we no longer need to run TypeScript compiler within a separate process. So let's stop the previous process that we have previously run in the console by pressing Ctrl C because TypeScript will notify us about any type-related errors directly in the browser.